Pam para pam 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 pam. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Average Joe Reviews. Now today you can see you're already seeing things in the frame. I don't usually do that. Well, so what we're doing today, tis the season. I don't know if you can see my sweatshirt here. Santa's coming. That's what she said. I think it's a very appropriate sweatshirt for all ages if you want to get this for your six or seven year old son or daughter. I think you should. It fits great. It's warm. And it's festive, right? And it's got snowflakes on it, so <clears throat> Christmas. We are going to do a review slash tutorial today on how to wrap gifts for the family. All right, so I've got a gift here for actually my uh, soon-to-be brother-in-law. Hopefully he likes it. <clears throat> um, and I've got scissors. I ran out of clear tape, so we're going to be using scotch tape and electrical tape. As long as something's sticky, okay? That's what she said. As long as it's sticky, it'll work. <clears throat> um, and then, last but not least, we've got... What is this? Wrapping paper? Um, so, let's get right into it, shall we? First, you take the present... You put it on the paper. Oh, shoot. Hopefully this is enough. Okay. Well, hopefully it's enough. All right. So you take the paper. All right. You fold it up like a burrito. You take one side, you fold it in, you take the other side, you fold it in, I think just enough, oh yeah, <clears throat> alright, and then you take, we're going to go with electrical tape, since it's the white paper, I thought, well, let's go with the, the let's go with the black tape, little yin and yang action, okay, Okay, so you've got it there. Do a little tape action there. So you should use no more than three pieces of tape. All right, that's what they say. I don't really know if that's a rule, but that's what they say. Whoever they are, I don't know. Okay, so we got another piece. They say three pieces. They don't say how big, though, so loophole. Tape that right there. Fold that up. And you really want to make sure you put a lot of attention to detail in folding. Uh, if you don't fold the right way, it's just going to get all crimped and it's going to get all wrinkled and it's just going to look like absolute crap. So you definitely want to make sure that your tape and your folding looks good. Okay? Now we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. Okay? We're going to flip this bad boy over. Isn't that what they do on the TikToks? Uh, right there. And where is the end of this tape? There we go. Oh my God, it didn't even tear the right way. Okay. It's not doing what I want it to do. Okay, I guess we're going with the black tape still. All right. And you tape the pizzazz to the present. A lot of people, they use bows and things like that. Come on, everybody does bows. Okay, boom, and you're done. Again, the key is attention to detail. You want it to look clean. You want it to look like you took time into wrapping their present, all right? This guy is going to be my brother-in-law. I want to treat him right. So, look at that. I mean, I think that this... I mean, I would pay somebody a hefty amount of money 
to make my presents look this good. I mean, that is just next level <clears throat> uh, wrapping. Now, that is a tutorial. Well, false black bear, what are you gonna review? Well, so I'm gonna review the process. So you have to buy all this stuff, which I'm not a fan of. Um, you know, you've gotta buy the tape, you have to buy the scissors, you have to buy the paper, you've gotta buy the decorations. There's a lot to buy on top of you already spending money on the gift. I mean, I'm not made of money, right? I've got 20 subscribers. I'm not, I'm not a millionaire, I'm not a charity. So that's a downside is that you got to buy all this crap just to hide something that you're going to give to somebody and they're going to end up unwrapping, right? So it's like you want it to be a secret, but it's not really a secret. Um, so that's the downside. The, the good side is, though, is that people will comment on how good your wrapping is. So if you do a good job, it is very fulfilling to someone say, wow. False Black Bear, your wrapping is next level. It's like if Jesus and Muhammad Ali had a baby and then that baby made out with another baby. Wait, no, that's not right. That can't be right. Anyways, when they compliment your wrapping, it's just that, that alone fills my heart with joy. <clears throat> um, and that is honestly, in some cases, better than another present. So uh, I think, you know, I'm definitely gonna get a lot of praise for this. Honestly, I would be, I wouldn't even be surprised if he doesn't even wanna open this present because it just is so beautiful. I mean, look at this. You can hang it up on a wall, be a freaking piece of art. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm actually gonna take this down put this up this is gorgeous um so let me know if you struggle with anything um i can maybe put some tips in the description down below but again share this video if you find it funny see you on the next one